Joining us now for the interview tonight is the president of NARAL Pro Choice America, Nancy Keenan. Nancy, it's good to have you here. Thanks. Great to be back. Um, do you know the answer to how it would be implemented if there was a federal ban on abortion? Like well, this? I think that's a million dollar question. I don't think there is an answer. What is egregious here is that to begin with, they believe government should make this decision. And even in the cases of rape, there are some that they, be they believe they have the answer and the government should make the position. They also don't trust women. They don't trust to, to make sure that the woman has said, I have been raped. They don't trust women to make this decision. They don't trust women to make sure that they can access their birth control and make those reproductive decisions. This is a group of people who ran on smaller government, but want it in our bedrooms and want it in our medicine cabinets. And, um, and it is absolutely, if this is the new normal, it should send a chill down the spine of American women and men in this country. What amazes me is that is the change in what's considered to be the middle on this position. I mean, the Republican Party right now is sort of in throes over Todd Akin and Richard Murdoch, and I think Paul Ryan saying what they have said about rape. Paul Ryan describing it as just another method of conception as far as he's concerned. He doesn't care. Richard Murdoch describing it as God's will, uh, whether or not you get pregnant during a rape. Todd Akin saying it's not possible to get pregnant during a rape. If you do, it means it wasn't a real rape. The Republican Party is scandalized by that and has put forward Mitt Romney as the moderate alternative to that. Have the Democrats been ineffective in highlighting Mitt Romney as being pretty far out there as compared to even the rest of what used to be considered normal? No, I think we've been, you know, we've got to continue to, in the next 13 days, talking about how anti-choice Mitt Romney is, how, as you said, if he's elected president, we have to worry greatly about the Supreme Court, but he's also not withdrawing his support of these people like a Murdoch. Right. Now, those guys get elected to the United States Senate, then anything that has all this craziness that came out of the House could pass the United States Senate if they take over in control of the Senate. So it is just un Unconscionable that Mitt Romney can kind of with a wink and the nod. Oh, well, I don't agree with him on that, but nonetheless, I'm going to still support Keep his candidacy. Yeah. Keep my ad up. That is, the American public is not stupid. And I think they're going to see through that and understand there's only one person that's, that supports a woman's right to choose and that is President Barack Obama. And um, we've got our work to do these next 13 days. I, at the top of the show, we talked about the, how it is sort of the legacy of the 2010 elections that the Republican Party normal, it came up with sort of a new normal that was far to the right of their old normal on this subject. Is there anything that um, either pro-choice Republicans, to the extent that there might be one still in the world, or Democrats who do support women's right to choose, can move the center back to where it used to be, move the center back to the center? Well, look, I think things have changed. Who would have ever thought that this would be a top issue in a presidential race? <laughs> this in contraception. <laughs> this in contraception. Yeah. And so I think that, you know, I have always said, and as a former candidate, I have always said, choice is a winning issue because women in this country so fundamentally believe this is about their life and their health. And so when you talk to the women in this country, you can win on this issue because after you talk about the economy and taxes and wars there is one basic fundamental value they come back to and that is their own personal value around their freedom and privacy and being able to access abortion care and that they make the decision not politicians and so yes we have to talk about it but I think I have never in my lifetime seen a presidential ad that speaks specifically to protecting a woman's right to abortion and this president has done that. Nancy Keenan, president of NARAL Pro-Choice America, thank you for being here. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me. We'll be right back.